of laughers, undefeated UNLV has faced only two real tests. In December, the Rebels ran number 21 Michigan State out of the palace. Two weeks ago, the Rebels left no doubt that they were number one against number two Arkansas. Now it's test number three. UNLV and number 11 New Mexico State on Big Monday. Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to the continuation of Big Monday. We move, finally, our final game of the year on Big Monday to the Big West. The number one team in the nation, UNLV, 25-0. They've won 36 consecutive games, but they have to go in and face New Mexico State on the road. New Mexico State, the Aggies have won 29 straight at home. And with numbers like that, you add to that that the ninth consecutive championship could be won for UNLV in the Big West, Jim Valvano. We're talking about all these fantastic things. And you want to talk about a barbershop and getting a haircut or something. That's right, John. We're talking barbershop, baby. Because Vegas has gone through a schedule like a barber runs his shop with the most familiar refrain. Next, first up, we have, we have Arkansas Razorbacks here. And Vegas took them by seven. Michigan State, right? They were the first one. Then the Razorbacks came in. They took them by seven. Next to sit in this chair is going to be New Mexico State. Right? And we shall see what happens as Vegas goes to towards this undefeated season, John. Yeah, but the Aggies, as you can see, are armed and dangerous and ready with the crowd that'll be as noisy as it gets. Vegas, despite their Thomas and Mack, will never have heard anything like they will hear on this night. So stay with us. When we come back, we'll get it to number one against number 11 in the Big West at the Pan American Center. Could be a tough night for Larry Johnson and crew. game is one of emotion for New Mexico State, but emotion can only take you so far because Vegas is a great team, and New Mexico State has to control the tempo, play well at the start of each half, and they had better shoot the ball if they're going to beat 
this club. Is it loud? I got these big headsets on. I can't hear. Let's go back to Mike. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear either, but we're ready for it. New Mexico State against UNLV. We'll be back for the lineups in a moment. State, let's take a line, uh, look at the lineups for both ball clubs. First, number one, UNLV. Larry Johnson is simply the best player in the country. He averages 23 points, 11 and a half rebounds a game. He will be the number one pick in the NBA draft. Jerry Tarkanian has his team at 25 and 0. In 23 years as a major college coach, he's won 590 games. That's second only to Dean Smith among active coaches. For New Mexico State, the key tonight will be Michael New. The senior center must have a big rebounding night, especially keeping from Vegas from getting second shots. And Neil McCarthy now in his sixth year in Las Cruces. This year's 21-3 record gives the school three straight 20-win seasons for only the third time in school history. Vegas is very close to the lead in virtually every category in the NCAA. They are beating their opponents by more than 30 points a game. They lead the nation in field goal percentage. But New Mexico State has won 29 straight here at home. And when they play excellent defense, which is what they usually do, they are undefeated, Mr. Vital. Well, they play great defense. Both teams have different styles defensively. New Mexico State utilizes the matchup zone defense. They use full court pressure. On the other side, UNLV plays that strong half court pressure man-to-man -man defense. UNLV has been rarely challenged this year. You see in this series, the only win for New Mexico State came a year ago on this court. And Mike, when we get into this game, I got a news item concerning UNLV that really continues the saga of the NCAA and UNLV. Ackles to jump center against Ware. New Mexico in the home whites and Hunt controls the tip. Immediately down to Johnson, immediately it's two to nothing. I'll tell you, he went right down into the deep low post and used this tremendous strength. Great execution by the rebound to Ackles. That's the one negative with New Mexico State. They are not a good shooting basketball team. Vegas likes to push it. This is Hunt for another three. I'll tell you, they're so explosive. They can hurt you in so many different areas of the floor. 10-5, Vegas. They're like the old Boston Celtics, Dick. You think you're doing pretty well, and you look up, and they scored six in a row. Well, they're a great spurt basketball team. Try Benjamin to, with Hunt on it. Trying to use some patience on offense, high percentage offense. Get it low to where? Touch 10-7. He was a junior college All-American last year, but at Lee Community College. Hunt with a penetration back to Ogden for three. Boy, these guys don't miss. I mean, where can you defend them? You can't really shade a certain area of the floor because they hurt you from every area of the floor. You got six. The Brown hits both of these, and the lead has been cut to four. Now here comes the full court pressure. They go to that matchup, try to invite him to a sideline. Johnson comes back to help out. Neil McCarthy is one heck of a coach. Really was impressed with him today at the shoot around. Average 20 wins a year, Mike, at Weber State for 10 years. Johnson. Matchup is really doing an excellent job when they match up with a man in the area of the floor. Ackles in the lane. Didn't get the roll, but it's tipped back in. Offensive rebound looked like Ogden right yeah. on the offensive glass. Ogden got it. The lead is six again. See, when you're a good rebounding team like UNLV, you can hurt a club two ways. With your defensive pressure, getting turnovers and a layup, and on the offensive board. So even, even if you don't shoot well, you're still in the game. New Mexico State out-rebounded them in the game in Vegas. Very misleading. They were up so big that it almost was meaning, meaningless. They were up 35-11. Jordan trying to go a little one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't working. Shot clock is at 16. Benjamin kicks it way outside. New with a long-range shot. And down court is Johnson. Showtime. Oh, not only showtime. That's a monster mash. Oh. Larry Johnson says thank you. And they really worked today at the 
the shoot around defensive transition to try and shut down the layup on Vegas where they release people. Johnson has eight. It's 19-11. Another turnover. Here comes Johnson. Give it back to him. Give it back to him. Why not, baby? See, that'll quiet the crowd. They're so explosive, Mike. 21-11. Best, best defensive team I have ever seen in college basketball. Boy, they look like they're, they're just running a practice. They are so cool. That's how they practice. They practice with that intensity. Jordan down the lane, kicks it back to New, and the center hits from outside. Michael New has that kind of versatility. He's also from Chicago. Three of their players, Jordan, Brown, and New, are from Chi-Town. 21-13 with 13-19 to go first half. Anthony, nice penetration, dishes it off. Here's ball to follow by Ackles. George Ackles is supposed to be one of their weak links. When you talk about in the lane, there aren't many colleges that have a George Ackles, and you're ready for this? And Elmore Spencer, who can come off the bench, will be a first-rounder at seven feet. Yeah, I really feel sorry for that weak link. They're, well, they you know, don't do it, half bad. You talk about a weak link in college, you're comparing it maybe to Shaquille O'Neal. But after that, not many people have an Ackles and a Spencer in a lane. James White, number 10, is in for the Aggies. He's a 6'9 junior. He's a shot blocker and can run the court. Baseline drive and a foul on an eight. As Jordan tried to cut under the bucket. They need White on the floor because he'll give them size and presence and shot blocking ability. As you look at the front court, numbers 17 to 6. Foul was on Ogman, his second, third team foul on UNLV. The Aggies have committed only one. Benjamin draws the defense out toward him in the person of Hunt. This is White. Bad pass, but saved by Randy Brown. Brown has excellent hands. Down the lane, double clutch. Johnson's got the ball, and he's fouled. What makes Larry Johnson so special? What a great kid he is, too. Look at him laughing. Has a great personality. Just loves to play. Has a personality very similar to the Magic Man. Magic Johnson has that heavily. It looks like they're just overwhelmed from a talent standpoint. Mike, I'll tell you one thing you try to do defensively in transition. Only send two guys to the glass and a half a guy means somebody to the foul line as we look at the field goal percentage is awesome right now. What a defensive play by Johnson. He just reached over, knocked the ball down into one of the Aggies and out of bounds. That's unbelievable. Let's see if they can pick up the intensity on this end of the court. UNLV likes to use that high post pass. Hunt for three. Long rebound to Ogden. Anthony. He kicks it out to Hunt. The miss for another offensive rebound. You can't give them three opportunities and shut them down. On a great skip pass right over the defense. Hunt for three. Missed again. Another offensive rebound. Johnson goes down. Contact. No whistle. Bad pass, steal. Ahead to Johnson. Uh -oh. Look out. But he uses his oh. head. Little showtime. Oh. Little showtime. They actually got five shots out of those two possessions. Finally score, and they lead by 14. Basically, right now, on a missed shot, they want to send two and a half people to the glass and two and a half people basically you have coming back because you send one to the foul line for anything long and two people retreating to protect against the easy basket because Vegas likes to release people. Trying to get Bennett three for a three-pointer. But Hunt doing a fine job on him. Jordan had to change his shot, got it back. Forced it up, missed it. There's a block. But it'll be a goaltend on Ackles. George Ackles really tries to intimidate in the lane. And he's played a lot better since the arrival of Elmore Spencer, who's challenged him in practice every day. Of course, this club only blocks eight shots a game. <laughs> Look at this intimidation inside. Here comes the loose ball. And there comes Ackles. Ooh, very, oh, very no. close. Very, very close. And then he had the presence of mind to go up and get a hand on it and try to knock it to one of his teammates. Remember, he's got to get the ball on its way up. On its downward flight. Watch Vegas. They do not dribble the ball an awful lot. They keep the passes in the oh, what, a catch. what a catch that was by Johnson. Johnson has 15 in the first 10 minutes. And he hasn't taken a shot further than like two feet from the basket. Let's take that back. Six inches from the goal. 
29-15. It's got to be so demoralizing. You're playing well, and you can't neutralize or stop the other club. Johnson has hit all six shots from the field. Little backdoor cut. Nice shot by Jordan. Nice backdoor move. Jordan slashes to the goal. Simple definition of a backdoor cut. Cut behind the defensive player. Catch him staring at the ball. New Mexico State desperately needs a couple of turnovers right now. A couple of good defensive plays and easy buckets off of them. The crowd is not as loud as it was early in the game. Hunt, nice pass inside. Johnson finally misses. And here comes Jordan. three-point shooter as we said he had nine in one game and dick that was in the last nine minutes of the game he scored 27 points 29 20. he can really shoot the rock i was watching him in practice today now the crowd's a little live Ogman. Ogman says hey larry oh. you've been starring now it's my time for a little showtime boy it's dunk city out there oh look at this little showtime right here try another it's a two. Tracy Ware, good inside-outside scorer. Out of Houston, Texas, played at Yates High School. Lee Junior College in Texas. 31-22. They're really playing well. They are Anthony. really. The Aggies are playing well, Mike. Dick, they really are. It's that Vegas has played nearly perfectly so far. They this won. is Benjamin coming back in the game. And Bennett, who only got the one shot and made it, comes out. They won 26 games last year, and they won that dramatic game here, 83-82 over Vegas. Hey, these guys are 21 and 3. <laughs> That's well, not too shabby. Not. No, it's not. Brown for three. Get back in the game, and the crowd is back live again. The Panamaniacs. Brown only shoots 24 percent from long range, but he got that one down. He hurt his hand. He just hurt his finger. Randy Brown number three. Benjamin's got those long arms. Oh, he walked. He walked. And Jerry Tarkanian wants a timeout. He does not like running the scene in the last 30 seconds. 7.49 to go. The lead is down to six. Damon Bailey faces Steve Smith. King Wright meets Kenny Anderson. And Brian Williams leads Arizona against Oregon State. A star-studded triple header. Thursday night live on ESPN. 31-25 UNLV with 7.49 to go first half. Let's take a look right now at the creativity right here by Anderson Hunt. He drives, he draws the defense to him. Now watch him drop the bounce pass. And here's the slasher, the explosive one, Stacey Ogman for Jam City. On the other side, we're going to take a look at Randy Brown. And this is a rarity. He's 7 for 29 from three-point range. There goes the guy from Chi-Town. He says, that's a trifecta, baby. Played at Collins High School along with Walter Bond, one of the stars from Minnesota. Dick, normally you think of a crowd of this capacity and this loud as something that's going to affect the visiting team. It's not going to affect Vegas, but what it can do is raise the Aggies level of play. That was the actual, the, had him at the national tryouts for the national team. Went down the lane, lost the ball. Here's Anthony. He thought he was fouled. He likes to try a little bit, Greg. I like him. He likes to go. Three-pointer, no good. Jordan. Jordan is a slasher. He's an athlete. He's got superb quickness. Arizona's still in a hunt, and Duke in Indiana. Another loose ball. And stolen back by Jordan. He's got those long arms. Give it up. Ah, try to get a little hot dog. Back the other way to Hunt. Oh, they'll pay for it there. Johnson crushes another one. So unselfish. I mean, does he smash it down with definition? <laughs> Now the lead back in double digits, 41 to 30. They have to take better care of the ball. See here, you got to be careful of that spurt. Jordan, a little one on one inside, and it blocked by Ackles. Ackles says, get it out of here. Look at him fill the lanes. Hunt for three. Oh. Ackles, what a follow! Hey, 
tell me George Ackles isn't a big time prospect. Yeah, he's a weakness already. And he's the weakness <laughs> along with Spencer in the yeah. line. How many yeah, colleges? I feel so bad for him. How many colleges would love to have an Ackles and an Unwest Spencer? Brown puts it up. No whistle. Hunt lost it, but found his buddy Greg Anthony. They are just so cool under pressure. Hunt for three. Good night. I'll tell you why. Are they explosive? Get a T.O., baby. Get a T.O. It happens so quick. I'll Things you. are going just fine and all at once the roof falls on you. I know one thing. I wouldn't want to be the number two seed in the West. <laughs> Please don't make me number two in the West. Make me number four in the East. Make me number four anywhere, but not number two in the West. I'd just like to be the last seed in the West. You get to go home early first round. Well, you just pull up and say, you know what? Much reminiscent of Georgetown's pressure defense when they were winning national championships. There's Ackles with that defensive block, and they really make you pay after the defensive block. They keep the ball on the floor. They're always looking for the open man. The two guards play so well together. And look at Ackles on the follow. Boy, and Vegas had the three closest guys to the bucket were wearing red jerseys. You know what's so amazing about that play? George Ackles blocked the shot on the other end of the floor, and he jammed that on the offensive rebound. Only needs eight of us consistent player for him. That one struck it down the side. Benjamin won't go. Johnson with a rebound. Only two seconds left. We're going to get a shot. Go. Go. Get a shot at it. Is it good? Oh, oh. he waved it off. They have waved, he waved it off. It off. Officials, one of the officials seemed to indicate that it would be good if it went, but the other two said no. Well, there's the triple zero, but remember this, the game ends on a horn, not with the three zeros there in college basketball. But that is a break for the Aggies after they missed a shot with two seconds left at the half. It's UNLV 46, New Mexico State 37. Welcome back. Anderson Hunt with the bounce pass to Stacy Ogwin for showtime. Just the same. The Vegas lead is just nine at halftime. Welcome back, everybody. And Nevada Las Vegas with a couple of bursts has the lead by nine. And Dick, New Mexico State played very well for most of the game, but Vegas is special. You know, it's really amazing. You're down nine, you're at home, you play really well, you shoot the ball well, 13 for 25, you rebound well, yet you're still on a minus side because of the tremendous defensive ability of UNLV and the way they punish you after a turnover and the way they utilize the slam dunk. Larry Johnson was a monster in the first half. Johnson made a play in the first half, got away for a breakaway layup. Coming out on defense, you'll see him just go right by the shooter and take off for the other end. He releases in a great outlet by Stacy Augman, the left-hander. He gets the ball out to him, and here comes the monster dunk. It's the monster mash. There he goes. Randy Brown controlling the basketball. A little one-on-one -on -one maneuver can it go off the screen. Good ball reversal. Defense by Larry Johnson. Is the backdoor cut by Reggie Jordan. But the defense staring at the ball real well, and they go to the offensive boards exceptionally well. Off balance jumper won't go. Here comes Vegas on the run. Here comes the express. Their big guys uh, run what so a, well. It's just a great play. That's a clinic on how to play two-man basketball in transition. What a great give and go maneuver by Stacy Ogden. Great touch pass by Anthony. Oh, it's that was 51-37. Jordan down low, powered that one up. I like his slashing ability, Reggie Jordan. Ogden back the other way, finger roll won't go. Loose ball, saved, but to New Mexico State. Benjamin, nice pass, and he got it off to Randy Brown. Nice transition game, the reverse rolls, Benjamin goes to Brown. You know, basically the way they played, Mike, they'll probably beat any team in America tonight on this floor with this crowd lively like it is and the way they play. Hunt for three again. Was Johnson with a big offensive rebound. Bad pass this time, a rarity. Here comes Jordan. 
finger roll, didn't get it, got his own rebound, had it blocked, got it again. Once again, goaltending. No doubt about the goaltending there. Bobby Dibbler with the great call. Called it on Ackles. Anytime the ball is directly in the center, 90% of the times you're going to get a offensive foul. Now look at the effort here by Reggie Jordan. He goes up against the big people two times. Now he's going to go back up the third time. And that time he definitely gets it on his downward flight. And that's what makes him special. Not only his talent. Naturally it starts with that talent but his attitude makes him special. Jordan down the lane missed another layup. Here's Hunt on the run. One on two. Scores it anyway. Anderson Hunt in transition. He's got another year next year. He says, my mama wants me to come back to school and graduate, coach, and I will be back at UNLV. Seven for Hunt. Jordan has had two layups, tried to jam them both, and missed them both. Uh -huh. That's the athletic ability. He has a 42-inch vertical jump. He really played well for Mike Krzyzewski at the World Championship game tryouts for the national team. Foul was on Larry Johnson, his N second. Nice bounce pass. Now watch the reverse layup. Doesn't use the dribble, protects the ball. Not playing like a guy that's under the weather, is he? No. Spacing we talked about, 15 to 17 feet apart. Johnson being guarded by White, who's back in the game. Augman kicks it back out to Hunt for three. Long rebound. Here come the Aggies. They are quick. They are quick. The quickest teams I have seen. Oh, no, they no, cut no. it to eight. And look at them playing defense. Look at them really checking out a defensive end. Look at Brown get down in front of Anthony. Johnson, what a power move. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he got it down inside. You might as well just get out of the way. He's going to the hoop. I tell you, he ought to go to the Dallas Cowboys. Forget about the NBA. See, when in doubt, let's go to the big guy. Let's go to our strong man. Let's go to option number one. He's a man inside. He says, bring on the whole team, baby. Third foul on James White. Anthony for three. And he's the one guy we said, maybe a liability shooting. So Greg Anthony starts shooting the perimeter. See, they played off him. I would do the same thing. Make him shoot that jumper from out there. You gotta give something up. Well, he shoots 40% from three-point range. There's that deflection from the rear. Two on one. Anthony against Hunt. He's fouled. And the foul's on Benjamin. You just have a one-minute break, Dan, and yep. it's just boom, boom. Look at Jerry relaxing. Yeah, if you lose your concentration, like you said, for 60 seconds, they've got three buckets. See, there's that reach around from the rear. And they're going to get the ball back out in transition. Could have dumped it off. Had an open guy. Didn't give the ball up. Larry was there right for the... You get out of that business. And he got out of it. The kid is not on scholarship. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, I think that as long as it's monitored by the necessary people and that there aren't any violations taking place, why should he be allowed to earn some money? He's not on scholarship. Benjamin being dogged by Hunt. Five-second call turnover. That was just great team defense. I mean, he just jumped on him, and everybody else was shutting off the next outlet. Hunt plays the ball exceptionally well. His stance is just so great. He has great balance. If you have the ball, you have a red uniform all over you. They love doing that, too, Mike. They really love playing that defense. And I think it's the hardest thing to teach a kid to do. That's to like love playing defense. Here's a three by Augman. What a backbreaker. You got six, eight, six, nine guys going outside burying 22 footers. Every time they make that little run, look, they headed up, to, headed down to eight. Now it's back up to 16. 64 48 Vegas. 13 49 to go. Jordan avoids the reach around, then lost it on the way up. Johnson won it out. That's how quick they release in transition. They're so quick, they're back to work duo. They play under control a lot better than the kid Wade and Banks did. Banks took a lot of bad shots, was a good offensive player, but I give the edge to this backcourt. Here's a pushing foul inside called against UNLV. Look at Johnson, how quickly he'll outlet the basketball. I mean, he throws a chest pass, three quarters yeah. court. I was just going to say, that wasn't one of those over-the-head jobs where you won one. Jordan likes to work with that right-hand dribble and go to the right. Benjamin for three. Benjamin really catching on fire now. It's a 10-point game. There's the 
the 10. I said at the 10 minute mark, he was down at 925. Well, who knows? And they're up there. What is going to happen? The Panamanians are going bananas in Pandemonium Center. Johnson had it. Here they go. Look at that hustle. Look at that hustle. Missed it. Holy cow. Control. Jerry wants a T.O., baby. He wants a T.O. Holy cow. The lead cut to 10 with 8.57 to go. It could have been a lot closer than that. 14. Against the best team in America. 29 in a row at stake right now for this club at home. Bennett for three. It's an 11-point game. He can Don't shoot. go away. He can shoot the three anytime, any place. Can he, though? I was trying to coach a little bit, trying to get him into the game. I know you were trying, but Benjamin was playing so well, they couldn't get him out. Vegas will work the clock. Boy, the three-point shot can make such a difference. Mr. Dick, would you stay in the zone right now, or would you come out? Well, I tell you, it's very difficult for them to match up man-to-man, -man, so they're matching up out of the zone, which is their living. But it's getting to the danger time where maybe they got to come out. Anthony by Brown, taken back by Hunt, and then Hunt hits the jumper. Big Holy play. cow! Big play by Anderson Hunt. See, their match, their matchup zone defense has so many man qualities to it that they can stay in that and pressure out of it. We've got a timeout with 2.58 to go in the game. Number one, an undefeated UNLV up by 13. I hope all the nitpicking stuff goes away. It's a little sick. Brown down the lane, little double clutch, missed the shot, rebound to Ware. Oh, look at that, he's expecting a block shot. And See, Eccles, Eccles uh, got tired, I think. Uh, Eccles says, come on, I'm going to give you one. Don't worry about it. I'm going to give you that deuce. 85-72. Las Vegas will go to 26-0. New Mexico State will fall to 21-4. Can you imagine looking at the draw when it comes out, and you're sitting there, first of all, you're so excited you're in the NCAA tournament, and then you look, and you say, oh, wow, Vegas first round. Well, how do you, how would you want to